Surely happiness can be found. Surely there's someone for me. Oh, who cares? Yes, who cares for me? Good to see you, Hunter. Long time no see. There is a new event ongoing, the National Archery Day. And among competitions, we also have a mission. And the mission requires us to shoot eight animals, either with the bow or crossbow. And one of those, the last task, is actually to shoot a fleeing coyote with the crossbow. I've already seen messages from people saying, forget about this, this is impossible, this is just uh, a matter of luck, this is a matter of shooting hundreds of arrows after coyotes. I actually have an idea how to do this. I think if it works out, it should be rather feasible, rather doable for a lot of you guys. I've just fast traveled to one of my tree stands. And the trick I want to use is actually something that we also use for the close range competitions, uh, which is you jump down of a tree stand and you shoot the animal from really close. What I want to try here is I want to come down uh, sit in front of the coyote, aim at it, and just when it runs, I want to release the arrow. Let's see if this works out. I'm going to lure it down here. Uh, first attempt here, fast traveling, and um, I actually have coyotes already. And since you guys love maps, I know that. I'm just going to show you quickly. This is the Southern Lodge on Whiteheart Island. I just fast traveled here. I have a tent and tree stand here. This is good for bobcats and whitetails and every now and then you also get coyotes. Now when you do these competitions, you want to remember exactly where you enter the tree. I'm going to do this here. Um, and where I entered is where the shadow is, uh, where the shadow is about here. If you stand up in the tree stand, you can aim straight down. If you kneel, you can't. You see how it's automatically going upwards. If I stand up again, I can look straight down again. So I need to know exactly where I will come out because what I'm going to do is if once the coyote shows up, I will start aiming and just when I do this, I will hit E and now I'm down. See, I'm down here and I'm standing right now. I can also take another pose. I can also use, now the shadow's gone. <laughs> and there's a bobcat calling. Uh, anyway, it's going to be roughly here. Um, so what I wanted to say is if you go down of the tree stand and only then right click to um, to bring the weapon up, to make it ready, to load the arrow, the animal will be gone. This is even the same for sh uh, shotguns. Until you have aimed with the shotgun, the animal will be already gone. Depending on the species, it's going to stand there for maybe, well, it's, it's a fraction of a second. Sometimes it stands there longer. Females, low-scoring animals will stand there longer. High-scoring animals will immediately bolt. So you need to be ready as you go down. You want to actually already aim. So it's important to exactly know where you enter the tree stand. Again, the shadow is gone now, so I cannot use it. But it's roughly here. When I go down, I need to uh, look in the right direction where the animal stands. And then uh, I will be aiming at the animal right then and there as I uh, come down to the bottom. And now uh, we, will, we will try this. If this works, I want the coyote to stand in front of me and then bolt. And this is where I need to click and release the arrow and shoot it. If I hit it, it's going to die, even if it's a bad hit. Um, so that could be interesting now. There could be a few attempts, uh, but I believe this is the easiest way. By the way, we have a bobcat near and I used the, yeah, there they come. I used the uh, jackrabbit collar. That also lures bobcats sometimes, but here come the coyotes. And the more, the better, because I will probably shoot at a bunch if I have to. <laughs> I want a few of them stand in front of me. And as soon as they run, I will shoot. Oh, there's the bobcats. See, I told you, bobcats also lured by the jackrabbit collar every now and then. And now the cat is doing its catty thing and the dogs are coming. Attempt number one, 
I stand up to see where exactly they are. They are here. I kneel down, aim and press E. Now I look at them. Run! Ah! <laughs> so, that's how it's supposed to work. As you can see, we learned our first lesson already. Aim high. There's the arrow. <laughs> and we missed. Oh, there's another one coming. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Wait, wait, wait. Go up. There's another one coming. So the fleeing guys did not spook this guy or did he and is now confused? Or is the call too long ago? What is it? Anyway, please come again. He's turning. Yes! Down here is where the action plays. So once again, this is really important. As you kneel down, before you press the E key to go down from the uh, tree stand, start lifting the crossbow. So press the right mouse button so it comes up. So when you arrive at the bottom, it'll be up and looking at the animal. This time I will aim higher. Again, I'm standing up in order to look straight down where it's going to be. A lot of this stuff is predictable, as I can tell. So if you ever attempt to do close range competitions and you wonder how can people shoot animals below one meter? Well, this is how uh, this is bad, buddy. That can happen if you call Especially if you call from within the tree stand, animals can end up where you can't really use them. So this lady is standing in the wrong place. She should be standing in front of the tree. Not a big deal. We will just wait and let her walk off and then we will call again. If you stand, of course, there's always a danger of animals detecting you sooner running away I mean I could uh, now she's there she goes uh, no 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 trotting please that's gonna take too long this time I'll call from the tree stand let's see where she ends up and you can do this in theory indefinitely they will keep coming is she going to go behind the tree again? Well, you can actually go down and move, move forward. Um, so you can still relocate a little bit. Next attempt. Aim forward a bit. Ah. Uh, that would, that would take super, super reaction. So she's gone as well. So the goal is definitely to be behind them, aim high, and once they run, release the arrow. You have a fraction of a second that you need to react. They go off like rockets, so from the side, this is a no-go. Here we are again, and after the first two failed attempts, I thought of a maybe better method, a method that will be more reliable and also more relaxed. I thought, what if we let the coyotes come to the tree stand and then let them just uh, walk away? And then we go down, stand up behind them, aim. And when they start running, it should be much less of a stress to shoot at them. This could be a better way, a more relaxed way, a way that most, if not all of you can do. And I actually tried it. I tried it with the crossbow and it worked. I hit a male coyote, it died. So the, the method works. The mission, however, didn't complete because it needs to be a female on my first two attempts. I had the male and a female, so the male wouldn't even have counted. So this is what we're trying to do, what we will try to do here while we have a albino whitetail walking in. Very rare animal just when we have the camera on. This is pretty cool. 
So this is what we will uh, do here. And I will also stick to this uh, tree stand here because it's wide open, which means that the coyotes will run straight. So if they spook, they will run pretty straight. Uh, and then if I shoot after them, uh, the chances are high that I will hit it. Like said, I've already hit one. It was a male, and now I want to repeat this with a female with the crossbow. And of course, I will pick up this albino white-tailed doe. Single female coyote under the tree stand. I think this is ideal if they're singles. Let's see where she's going to go. Packs will look at each other. Singles have a tendency to walk straighter. This should be ideal. And now I hit her. You can see the arrow. And it worked. So we have to go uh, let her go die. We'll take a few minutes and then when we pick her up. This should surely count as a running coyote. Just as we planned and as we pick this up. Female coyote. Thank you very much, Doc. This task for the mission is complete. I hope you enjoyed watching this video just as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you very much. Stay in touch.